So, how does one person go simply from playing stuff like this? To stuff like this. So the offer was brought up to me during the summer while I was playing for Cedar Point. That summer contract was fun and everything. I mean, I met some of the greatest friends ever. Bro, I love you. Fuck off. But I had just gotten out of school studying jazz and I wanted to play jazz. But wait! Cedar Point was organizing their first heavy metal band ever for the Halloween events and I was fortunate enough to be asked to play for that. You know, metal on drums, double bass. I have never done that. Seriously, I think the heaviest type of music I've ever played was in a band in high school called Slop. <laughs> doesn't want to be versatile. This was a new, exciting, and challenging opportunity to learn a new style of music. I didn't grow up on metal. I grew up on Stevie, Luther, Earth, Wind, and Fire, been playing jazz since high school. But metal, that shit will separate the men from the boys, or women to girls. I've always had a high amount of respect for metal musicians, drummers in particular, because of how hard and how fast they can play every night, all night long. They're so consistent. It's scary. By the end of the day of our first rehearsal of the two-week rehearsal period, my hands felt like they were bleeding. Luckily, by the time of our first show, I was able to, you know, stop being a little bitch. And I, um, I played it. And yes, I would go so far as to say that metal has made me a better jazz musician. I'm able to listen and react to things a lot faster than I have before. I'm able to last a lot longer in bed, I mean on the drums. And my endurance has gotten better especially on my left foot because I have never used a double bass pedal before this contract. So I'm just going to stop talking now and show you one of the songs that we played for our show. This is Duality by Slipknot. <laughs> 